hello everyone good morning or maybe good afternoon you know it's almost afternoon here or i know it's it's probably nighttime for some people so there you go all right i'm in uh, common ground mode right now because i want to sell some of these wine bottles before the uh competition starts up davidson hello martin hello fun time yes it's gonna be a fun time a wise hello Tabuka, hey! <laughs> you remember, thank you. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow, in case you were wondering, but since I'm probably not gonna... Well, you know what? I'm gonna stream Eternal Paradox tonight. Technically, it's still the same day, so it's not my birthday, but that's as close as it's gonna get. But yeah. Bukari, hello. Uh, sitting this one out again. Oh, okay. Yeah. No worries. Martin's uh 1748 p.m. What is 1748 p.m. Martin? Isn't it just 1748? It's evening though. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Evening for you. Nighttime says a wise. Bira, what's up? You ready to buy Ave of Fire? Um is that is what what's confirmed, B Rob? Is that <laughs> can't even talk. Is that uh... let me check. Where you where did you hear this info from, B Rob? Because I've not heard of that. AKC, hello. Thank you, thank you. Uh yeah. yeah, tomorrow's my birthday. Why? That's right. Ava Fire. I don't even have the uh Ava Wind Mercenary. Oh, you okay? I see, B Rob. So you've seen it that way. That's cool. Um, I don't know much about Ava the Mercenary and Eternal Paradox because I don't even have the Wind one. I don't know if that's one I want to get. I kind of wanted like a limited edition light or dark one. Besides, I can't afford it. Assuming it's going to be like over 200,000 need time, I can't even afford that. Those mercenaries, anyways. All rarities of Wang. Who is Wang? Why does it sound so unfamiliar? Who, who is a Wang? Rachel, good morning. Nice to see you here. The competition starts in 10 minutes. Is everyone ready to make some mead? It's uh, very similar to apple cider in my opinion. At least my build's going to be very similar to apple cider. B-Rob, I'm guessing a new Merc. Oh, maybe a limited edition Merc that you can only get with E-Time. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, that would be cool. I'm more of a fan of the Ancient Mercenaries, you already know that. So, this new Mercenary though, I, I don't know if I'll get it. It, it just depends on the skill set and how useful it's going to be. Because I pretty much have my uh, team in Eternal Paradox locked down for now. And if I get a new mercenary, that means I'm going to have to save up uh, summon, pick up summons for it so I can promote it. And uh, it's going to take a while. Planet Bob, morning. And sell some ice also. King renamed to Wang. Ah, okay. I see. I did not know that. I thought King was a kind of a strange name. Wang also sounds pretty strange. But, oh, uh, I guess. It works. Yeah, that's that one new mercenary coming out that's like a healer. Healer support. I think that that's what I said about him. My target rates. Uh, my practice build was doing close to 110 mead per hour. I think it peaked at 108 AKC. 
So uh, my goal would be to do at least 105 tops, 110 per hour. I have an idea for one more tweak. So maybe I can do 110 per hour. Neymar, hello and thank you. Thank you for all the birthday wishes, guys. Uh, I'm probably gonna gonna see people mention it a lot. <laughs> so thank you. Let's get out of this mode. Well, hold on. Two things that I haven't done in the, the common ground mode. I think I haven't put the the glass factory. This one. AC glass factory. No, I can't put a building there. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Right here, I think I can put the tavern. Not like it's really gonna help. I usually don't check this every day anymore. So when I do check it, um, all my storages are full anyways. But, 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 there we go. Let's just cram everything in here. There. Now I can get out of there. Wang is king in Korean. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, Planet Bob. I've <laughs> been watching way too much K-dramas. Alright. Buga, do you have a champagne and cold already? And do you have a cake done? <laughs> no. No, I don't do Buka. Uh, B-Rob, I tagged you in some screenshots of them, Dub. Uh, sure, let me go ahead and check them before the competition starts. Nice. Hey, you're not kidding. You got the proof. I'm assuming that this new uh, mercenary called Wang in Eternal Paradox is going to be available for E time only. Because if it's not, then what is the point of them? minting the rarities like we can do that ourselves so right it would be logical to think that that is a mercenary that's only going to be available with e time which is cool make it uh i guess i want to say paywalled but like it, it gives uh, e time a bit more utility to have limited edition mercs that way and different rarities so it's not just ancient. You don't have to save up a bunch of e-time for it. Yeah, so that's cool. What do you think uh, top 50 rate and top 100 rate? AKC, I think top 50 rate's going to be at least 100 per hour. And top 100 rate's going to be like 80 per hour. That's my guesses right now. Sure, I I'll take a... Another look at the starting biome. I, I know it started off with like two windmills. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do my uh, gold rush. Or maybe I'll also do a wine bottle rush. I say that, but then I'm like, nah. But it would help speed things up. Planet Bob, Wang will be available in normal summons and first pick up summon in season three. No, I mean, you're right. Planet Bob, yeah. So what is the point of them minting another rarity or multiple rarities of it, right? It's kind of strange. You could just mint it yourself. Hmm. We'll see. I guess just to have a mercenary available in E-Time. And if you're going to spend E-Time on mercenaries, you're probably better off minting the really expensive uh, limited edition ancient ones. Which, almost nobody will be able to do that because they're really expensive. Uh, so most people will have their apples over here, which makes the most sense. That's also where my apples are going to go. As for roads, um... You know, Planet Bob, I forgot to tell you. Or maybe I did tell you but um i'm also not really gonna be using like a bunch of straight roads 
<laughs> if you know what I mean. It's kind of going to be like uh, last week's build. It's, it's going to be almost the same. Gonna look messy, but it's gonna work. So if I were to do a gold rush, I think I would want to start it down here. That's what I'm thinking right now. Make a road right here. Gold ores, green forges, or maybe make the road here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Make the road on the fifth uh, lane right here. For gold. And then for wine bottle rush, do it where I'm going to have my windmill set up because windmills are easy to replace. And that'll get me all the cash I need to build the expensive buildings like the bakeries and the um, breweries. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Gold rush here. Or why would I do the gold rush there? You know, apple trees are easy to replace. Yeah, I'll just do gold rush where the apple trees go. And the wine bottle rush. Assuming I'll do it. Um, if I will, then I'll do it in the windmills. There, I got a rough idea of what I'm going to do now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hit that like button. Thank you, Wise. Herps, hello. And Paul Raymond. Amir. And thank you, Kaido. Oh yeah, hello. Uh, B-Rob, they did the same with Ikari. I think they have to mint at least one to make it available in the game, right? Oh. You're, I guess you're right, B-Rob. Yeah, okay. I didn't think about that, B-Rob. You're right. It's not going to be uh, uh, exclusive or, or anything. Forget what I said. I wasn't thinking. It's because I don't pay attention to the fact that they mint one of each. But yeah, you're right. Okay, the event's about to start in a couple seconds. Good luck, everyone. Hope you got a plan. Hope you practiced. Hope you're making at least 40 per hour. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. But I uh, hope it goes well. Wait, I'm assuming I clicked on the competition one. I saw two other ones. Oh, yeah, I'm assuming that's it. Apply skins. I can't type. Go ahead and apply these. I usually do that later, but I'll do it now. Okay, and uh, in this corner, I will put the dragon and the trees. I'll move the dragon again later. I just don't want to think about it right now. Uh, I said trees. I meant the giant Christmas tree. That's what I meant. Oh shoot, that's a crooked. Dragon is crooked. Oopsie. Ring. Arcane ring. I mentioned this in my guild chat, but I noticed uh a couple people buying the epic arcane earrings as of late um and i'm pretty sure that's because there's two jewelry metas coming up after this one so it makes sense and uh, i guess the other reason is since gala went up the prizes are looking better right now so uh, that makes sense that be enough space i'll make it work okay. Alright, uh, I know everyone's working on their startup design, but um, uh, how many of you are planning to buy the Town Hall NFT?
Yeah, because that goes on sale in like an hour. I am going to buy a couple, uh, one for myself. But seeing as there's some people that don't want to use their credit card or don't want to buy it that way, they rather buy it with uh, crypto. I should be able to help them that way. So like I'll buy it with a credit card and then after two weeks, because it's going to be on lockdown for two weeks, then I should be able to trade it to them for crypto. And I'm also going to give some away for sure. I haven't decided on the exact amount, but I'll give a couple of them away soon. Uh, like I could start the giveaway maybe next week, but I am going to have to wait two weeks to do the payout. Like, like actually send it out, you know? Because uh, just in case you don't know, whenever you buy with a credit card, you can't trade out the NFT for two weeks. So it's locked on the account. Where do I put my banners? Let me put them on this road for now. Won't hurt to buy, says Amir. Um... Well, the, your bank account might say otherwise. I mean, it's 10 bucks, but still. <laughs> Martin's gonna get one, all right. I mean, it's not exactly free, so. Carl Z, hello. What does the NFT do? It has like four utilities um, and they're decent. So the first utility is one passive water, like uh, the marsh in the forest. So that that's not very helpful, to be honest, but uh, at least it's one of the utilities. The second utility is that it provides 15% um, movement speed bonus to the farmers just in the farmhouses, not tractors. So once again, also not very useful. Uh, late game when you use tractors the third utility is 15 percent faster movement speed for the build houses i guess it has five utilities because the fourth utility is that it reduces the craft time of wheat fields by 10 percent and the fifth utility is that it reduces the craft time of tree farms by 10 percent and that one is actually really good that's like the best utility out of all of them from that nft Start up on the gold. Burn auto sell on, update town offline on, and auto sell gold. I need more money to expand this. Well, seeing as the trade time is not that bad, I could probably sell my gasoline. Sure thing, Tupuka. I'm not keeping an exact list of like how many people are in interested, but I will do my best to buy enough. I also don't want to be in a position where like I buy too many and I don't know what to do with them. I mean, I eventually I'd like give them away, I guess, if I if I had nothing else to do with them. Or like do events and I guess give them away that way as a prize. Uh, Tupuka says if that reduced tree growing time. Yeah, it's, it's one of the utilities. I think like the really good one. I'm hoping that it's it um reduces the, the time of my tree farms further. Because if I use all my NFTs right now, my tree farms grow in six seconds. So I'm wondering if this NFT will reduce it to five seconds. If it doesn't, it's really not gonna help me. Uh but but it's fine. I mean I I'll, I'll take it just in case. Let 
me expand this. Yeah, I know. I need more gold. More gold ore. Spider dog. Hello. Nice to see you here, by the way. How would we send you the money? Um, If people don't want to buy it with credit card, I'm assuming that they wanted to buy it with crypto. Or probably Gala on Gala Chain. So I, I think the best way would be to send me Gala on Gala Chain for the NFT, which doesn't have any fees because it's on the Gala Chain. So I, I just think Gala on Gala Chain would be fine. Any other way, um, potentially with gas fees, it's probably not worth it. Because I understand people, like, sure, they might be interested in the NFC, but they don't feel comfortable with uh, using their credit card. Or maybe they are, they live somewhere where if they use a credit card for that, they'll incur an additional charge. So that may be a reason they don't want to use the, their credit card. Or maybe they don't have a credit card. Um, any reason whatsoever, it, it's fine. I, I understand. Oh yeah, the chat box doesn't pop up. There we go. Yeah, usually when you guys chat, it shows up on the uh, video, but I had that turned off. Um, I turn that off whenever I'm actually recording a video. That's why. Sometimes I forget to turn it back on. Good thing YouTube keeps a log of the, the uh, live chat. Do I need more gold ore? Gala Gaming, hello! Uh, still, I don't know why Gala is proposing credit card buying so much. Gala is crypto, ETH, NFT, game, FFS. Uh, they should use crypto mainly. That's true. They should use crypto. I can only speculate on that, Gala Gaming. Um, I speculate they just want people to put in a credit card if they haven't, so they feel like it's easier to buy NFTs. That's my speculation on the uh, topic. Because uh, usually you get people to buy something for like $1 or $10 with a credit card, and they're like, oh, this is such an easy process. And now that they know how to buy stuff, they're more likely to buy something again in the near future. But since it's a Web3 environment, it's a little bit different. You got people who don't want to use a, a fiat or a credit card to purchase stuff in Web3. That's the point. They want to use their crypto. So does it work the exact same way? I, I don't know. But that's my speculation on that. Get rid of these. I'll just get rid of that too. My hatchet hank can go here somewhere. And I think I'm good on the gold brush, so I'll start making lumber and energy, and then I can do the uh, wine. Lumber. Wood. And I will make 
Two mil. Amir, imagine to pay gas fee on something that costs ten dollars right now. That is another thing. I mean, we got Gala on Gala Chain, which has no gas fee, so that's cool. But yeah, imagine using uh you Ethereum to buy it an NFT that costs ten dollars, and then the gas fee is like sixty dollars, right? That wouldn't make much sense. I don't know, like. If somebody is actually going to do that, I hope not. Get some trees down. I'm going to need a lot of lumber like last time to build everything. Actually, I said that last time and I ended up just having to wait for money. You already got disconnected twice? Huh. No, I haven't gotten disconnected. Yeah, I don't know why or what it could be with you. Yeah, I'm wasting time just clearing all this stuff up. <laughs> oh, well, that's just me. Clear everything up and then I'll uh, get started on what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Uh, hey, cool, right now. No, there's no uh, shortcut for deleting items. At least not yet. That's something they want to implement in the future. Oh, that, did I do the energy? No, I haven't started energy yet. I'll start it right here. Yeah, glass factories is a lot of energy. I'll use my solar panel to help. Yeah, so wine bottle rush in case... Sorry, I keep calling it wine bottle rush. It's just called bottle rush now. Bottle rush in case you've never seen me do it for some reason. You need to have passive silica, chromium, and limestone in order to effectively do the bottle rush. And let me go ahead and place those down. I need to make sure that each of these has at least three passive silica. I have to do it right here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Do it like that. Yeah. So they'll have all the materials needed to passively make uh, bottles. The legendary silent ride gives me two passive iron in order to build the glass factories, and then they just need lumber and energy to get built, just to get built. And I'm also going to need a warehouse here to store the glass bottles in. I like the word future. <laughs> uh, Martin, is that dog going to be an NFT or in-game thing? They said it's going to be an NFT and they're not exactly sure what it's going to do yet. Uh, I think they said it's going to be like 10 dogs running around in your town.
cream buffs. Bark at your neighbors. Possibly, yeah. That's what dogs do already. Put down my juniors. Doesn't matter where. Uh, yes, yeah, so the the ninety percent off NFT is gonna go on sale in forty minutes. Um, it's kind of weird that they called it 90% off. So where did that come from? Uh, that came from X, right? Uh, or Twitter? I feel like if I call it X, some people are going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, yeah, it's from Twitter. I keep forgetting to check this place too. Keep forgetting to use it. Where are you? Oh, it's not even taken up. Oh yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Available this week, ten times value. That's what they're calling it because uh, they think it's a hundred dollar utility. So ninety percent off. It's gonna be a uh, ten dollars or nine ninety nine. They said. Yeah, ninety percent off NFT. A hundred dollar value for ten dollars. I think that's uh, the way they're uh, marketing it, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Companies do that all the time. Okay, so I got to turn these on. Make some bottles. Yeah, it came from their X. That's right. Let me fix up these roads. Yeah, that's basically my road setup guy. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a couple more roads, obviously, but uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. But it seems to work, so if it works, I mean, it's not stupid if it works. build the loggers just in case since they are gonna help the twist hello where is uh ice uh, i haven't made it yet yet i could that's my bad made the screen smaller Uh, 
There we go. Uh, well, milk is great and all, but um, it burns too much wood. And I need the wood for the lumber for everything that I'm going to make. But you're right about the ice. I could put it here somewhere. Oh, I should probably put the, the um, not the Artisan Guild. Wrong one. <laughs> the Artisan Guild kind of looks like the Medieval Tavern. There you go. The Tavern looks cool, by the way. There it is. The NFT that sold out in two minutes, guys. There you go. Glass bottles on auto sell. They still look like wine bottles, though. Yeah, don't forget the tavern. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot about it. Thank you. 25 minutes in. Better late than never. Jevin, hello. What should I do with the 25k I start with? Your main priority at the start should be getting to gasoline production. That should always be your priority. Unless you have NFTs that help you do something else, right? But I'm assuming that you don't. So yeah, get to gas production. You should always be getting the gas production. I haven't made a gas production guide in a while. Um, I believe somebody in NLO came out with one. I haven't checked it out. Um, there was also another channel that made a gas production guide. But I've made uh, several gas production guides uh, in the past. And I do believe that they're still relevant. It just doesn't make sense for me to make one for every single competition since they're all going to be a different biome setup, usually. I can start making ice. I just need somewhere to store it. For now, we can do this. Bottles. More bottles. And now I make more bottles over here. So these spots have three silica. Alright, so not this spot. Roger, hello. You're late? You're not that late. You're about half an hour late, just so you know. You're not, you're not an hour and a half late, you're about half an hour late. I don't know if you knew that. Why did I get rid of it? <laughs> Whoops. There. I need to keep that on here until they get all the materials that they need. I'm your first batch of easy dough sold. Time for tons of silver. Nice. I've never done that easy dough rush so i i don't know how well that works i i do know that some people do it though let me move my juniors to where they're supposed to go top 800 does it r really like affect your rank that much half an hour i mean i should know the answer to this but I mean, it could be worse. I get it, though. I, I like to start the competition right when the, you know, the timer starts. As I assume almost everybody else does. Sydney, lol, what a dig at their time in the announcement post. Did they make a joke about it? I remember put them putting out the announcement that, that they are... Uh, the time changed. Yeah, depends on if you observe daylight saving time.
Gold's at 2,000. Yeah, sounds about right. Ice looks right. Let me add it to auto sell. Uh, wine bottles just getting started. Glass bottles. It's going to take me a while to uh, start calling them uh, glass bottles. Or just bottles. I'm so used to saying wine bottles. They still look like wine bottles. Maybe when they change the picture. Uh, Wajer says, yeah, time effects rank a lot. Down in the lower tier, probably more competition with Gallup pumping. Okay. It, it does make a difference at the top tier, too. Uh, the entire common ground world chat was going off for a while yesterday about that seven times. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a feeling there was going to be something wrong with the starting time. Probably should have moved that solar panel. Ah. I'm actually not even sure how much money I need. Although I did make a visualizer and according to that, I need 20 mil and I don't think that accounts for the, um, the ornaments. Actually, I could I keep forgetting I could check it on here. Uh, on buildhub.net. Yeah, so I should only need 15 mil. That's cool. Fifteen mil is not that much. Less than the no NFT build. Is it, Martin? Yeah. A bit. All right. I want more, uh, more bottles. Would my dragon even be able to catch up? I, I guess I could get rid of the gold rush if it can't. JJ, hey! We're just here doing the meat competition. Getting money for everything. This shouldn't be too difficult. I'm thinking of buying the Town Hall NFT like the as soon as it goes on sale so I can get some lower number mints not like that means anything hey who knows maybe I'll get the number one mint I doubt it though Obo hello See if I can build some of these windmills. Uh, 
I should put down the rest of my bots as well. These are kind of in the way, but uh, it's not. It's all, it's all right. Not sure where else to put them just yet. Actually, I know where to move them. Yeah, I know where to move my energy production. This will work. I get number one hit you up all right uh what's it worth it to you jj <laughs> what's it worth to you i doubt it though I doubt i get it I, I would really have to try and even then i, I don't think i'd get that lucky Twenty bucks. Oh damn, that's a uh, that's double what it's what it costs. So I guess <laughs> I probably keep it though. All right, I'm gonna build two glass factories here. It doesn't make sense right now because my passive silica, chromium, and limestone is over here. But these two are the ones I'm actually going to keep later on. Doesn't really make sense for me to build them right now, but I just want to just build them. Like, uh, I'm all going to have to build all the the breweries over here anyways. Elvin, are you going to be using a beacon this time? I am not. Nope. No beacon. I would probably get top 25 if I could use a beacon, though. Benji, uh, why everyone care about what number is? I'm happy to just have it. OCD, maybe? I don't know. Collector's Edition, just having a number one. Or a number 69, as you say. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Okay, what am I missing? Energy? Yeah. Missing energy. 139 bottles. Um Hmm. Well my dragon's overwhelmed, so I guess stop selling gold for now. I guess it would make sense to like do gas and sell it that way, right? Or just get rid of the gold rush entirely. Benji says I manage 60 per hour. What's your rates? I am aiming for 110 per hour, Benji.
Oh, these are ready to go. Okay. I need to move my styling right. Go ahead and build those then. The large gap, isn't it? 60 per hour versus 110. It's actually 108 per hour. Damn, what do I even build? <laughs> I don't have enough energy. I'm tempted to make a power plant. But Sydney would be you would be streaming EPX later? Yes. At least that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, I want to stream EPX at the start of season three this time. You got any eternal paradox questions? Feel free to ask. I think most of the the secret strategies are out in the public already. I should be making videos and just showcasing them already. I feel like I had a really good strategy for Captain Gear and they uh they kind of just changed it with the new updates coming out. Uh, Watcher, Eternal Paradox is called EPX now. We just call it EPX for short. It's Eternal Paradox. Yeah, JJ, I'm aiming for 110 per hour, but 108 is the most I was making. So anywhere around there, even at least 105 per hour, I'll be happy with. I do believe at least 100 per hour will be enough for top 50. my energy yeah i'm gonna build a power plant and then probably a freight pier even if it's temporary and then i can make a refinery and make gasoline real quick gasoline and petroleum here somewhere. Uh, no, I don't need to make pumpkins. it's a solid rate yeah i think so all the nfts i have jj that's the secret oh, you have to know how to put stuff together also <laughs> don't get the wrong idea guys you have to know what you're doing it's not just nfts i i don't really like when people say uh all you need is nfts to win that's not exactly true you need to know what you're doing It's not exactly true, Benji. I mean, it helps a lot. You can't deny that. But you gotta know what you're doing. Uh, AKC says those who say that are both ignorant and bitter. And Cole Rhino attests to that. All right. <laughs> AKC says you need brains in this game. Yes. Uh, Wajir's speed and skill are necessary. You actually move too slow. 
I I agree. I I agree with that uh, statement, Wajer. Um, not that you move too slow. Sorry, but that speed is important. I feel like I do things pretty quickly, right? Like you guys think I probably do things super quickly, but I could do better. I don't practice my initial setup, and if I did, I feel like it would help. But I don't think it usually helps me enough to where I can advance another, another, into another prize bracket, basically. In that one competition that I got 26th place, if I were to have practiced my initial rush setup, I definitely would have gotten top 25. That was the one thing that held me back on that. The, the um, extra time, right? But usually, it doesn't make a difference. But yes, uh, overall speed is important. You, you want to do things quickly. I can make petroleum. Sorry, that's not it. Make petroleum. And then I can make gasoline. There we go. And, um... Ah, uh, well... Let me see. I kind of wanted to make energy with this also. And, uh, my porch is over here. So... Um... Hold on. I, I can figure this out. So, aquifer there. Porch here. There we go. Now I'm making energy, petroleum, and gasoline. Alright, that works. I, I do not need pumpkins. Not right now. It's not Halloween. Good to Puka. <laughs> uh... Much place for gas, silica, limestone, and chromium. Also, maize and sand. It saves a lot of space having those NFTs, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Or. Oh, you mean the production? Yeah, yeah. It takes too much space to make that. Yes, compared to the space you save with the NFTs. And you can see that from the NFTs that I use. And once I finish my build, 100% hunter lover. I don't have enough knowledge of this game to do well in this. I'm trying, but I don't have the game knowledge. So I played this game for like over two years now. I want to say like two years and maybe two and a half years, actually. Something like that. I played a lot in casual, practiced different builds. Eventually, I started doing competitions a couple months later. And the more competitions that I did, the more experience I got, the better I got at understanding all the buildings and how to make things work together, especially with the NFTs as well. So I think the just playing the game and practicing really helps out. Let me add this back on also. So don't don't feel discouraged if you don't understand how to effectively play the game right away, especially competitively. People seem to think that you you start playing the game and you start winning competitions right from the start. I don't think that should be the case. It is the case for some people, but that shouldn't really be the case. You should be practicing and then eventually getting into the competitions. But right now, there's not that much of a player base and the rewards are still top 1200. So you could just start off practicing in the competition servers and potentially win something even if you're not that good and you'll still learn from it like even if you don't win top 1200 don't feel discouraged hopefully you learned how to do better for the next competition finally bob i had to explain what the nfts in this game was like in real life and i came up with this slightly tortured analogy common ground world is like f1 NFTs are the car manufacturers, Ferrari, etc., and the players are the drivers. I've heard that before. Some people have said that before. They say uh, it's pay to win, which it is, um, but so is racing with certain cars, right? That's also pay to win. Life is pay to win. 
Oh, there's more to it. Planet Bob says you can have the best car in the world, but you also need a good driver. There you go. Yes. Imagine having a really good car and not knowing how to drive. Benji, you don't really need to know. If you have the NFCs, you can just copy that build. Uh, I'm not going to say anything to that, Benji. I think this is enough bottles. I think I should just focus on making everything else. And uh, now that I'm going to be selling gold in batches of 100, yeah, I shouldn't have any issues. So let me get started on some taverns or breweries. Yeah, they're called breweries. Right, that's what that is. Time for some breweries. That's going to cost a pretty penny. Just like that, I'm out of money. I've gone broke again, Martin. Okay, I got some more money. Alright, I'm out of money again. Roger says, pay to win is good. That's how anyone can win with uh, anything to begin with. True. That's one That's one way to see it. Coordinator. What's up? Autopilots. One word autopilot. Autopilot's two words. Tubuka started Townstar at July 2022 and I was rubbish. Then I started to get ghost cards and now I sat inside top. I've been here almost every time. Yeah, because the, um, the effect cards help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I'm sure you learned, like, from experience. You kept playing the game. Maybe you practiced. Maybe you just, you know, made builds and improved them from that during the competition. But you you should have learned something from that. I feel like you you definitely know more now than when you started. I mean, when we started... Well, yeah, I say, I say we, like even me, we didn't really even know how to make gas production. Either you have to figure it out, or you saw a guide to help you how to do it. Because the game doesn't do a good job explaining to you how to get to gas production. There's guides out there, lots of guides out there, but the game doesn't do that for you. AKC, people going onto an NFT game and complaining about NFT sale. And funny enough, they hope to get rewarded big for playing without buying, contributing to the economy. Yeah, that's another thing. They they expect huge rewards for uh, no contribution. I'm not broke no more, Martin. I got some money back. Building all this stuff. Rugal BC, what's up? Just doing another competition? 100% uh, hunter lover trying to do this without NFT is really annoying because I have to use the river a lot more. And uh, it, it's fine relying on the river. The river is there to help you after all. 
you should be relying on the river. I'm relying on the river too. I'm going to be utilizing it to my advantage. It's part of the game. The, the, uh, yeah, it, you deal with the challenges that the game throws at you or the competition and you take advantage of what it gives you. In this case, we're given two rivers. That's an advantage for everyone. Benji forgot the oopsie. Oops. To tweets, I start with 999 gas. Take me a while to realize I needed to produce. Uh, I remember that when they when they started people out with 999 gas. Yeah, five million five minutes left until the sale happens, as what Amir Z was saying. Tabuka, of course, and I remember my first gameplay. I just put one pump and think now I have gas. <laughs> It probably wasn't enough, huh? Got plenty of energy now that the uh, power plant's picking up. So I'm waiting for all this to be made. I got lumber, got wood, got energy. Just waiting on the crane bots to do their stuff. So uh, shout out to all of you watching, by the way. Thank you so much. I am probably going to shut off my camera for a few minutes and um try to buy some of the town halls they're not going to sell out or anything don't worry about that um i just wanted to try to get some low numbers not like it matters but i'm gonna buy some uh extras for some people that want them and some to give away so i just want to do that when the sale like actually starts up and it's going to be in four minutes uh hunter lover they're gonna sell some nft called the common ground town hall which has decent utility i i guess it's good utility for a new player but overall it's just very decent utility it only has one really good utility in it uh it's you're not gonna be able to use it for this competition just so you guys know there's no rush to buying it do not buy it right now is what i would say i would say wait until friday until we can actually use it in the game but i'm gonna choose to go ahead and buy them now that's just me also um i guess if you are gonna buy it feel free to use my link in the description of the video right as it helps support me and either way i'm planning to give some of those away anyways because um uh, you guys have already supported me by using that link so i appreciate that so much nfts will benefit you yes uh, well, for my own security, it's better if I don't have my um, camera on while I'm typing potentially confidential information, Martin. <laughs> Be safe out there, guys. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just waiting on stuff to build, right? So I'm, I might just do that now. Uh, I'm thinking, is there anything else I should watch out for? Because this will take a couple minutes to finish building anyways. I'm waiting on lumber. Most of these are actually almost done. By the time this finishes building, I think I can get rid of all my rushes and just transition to my final build. Should be able to. Let me actually move Mama Banner. And build one more bakery. I mean, you're not streaming or anything, Martin. Okay, guys, I will be right back in a couple of minutes. All right, be right back.
Yeah, I'm here. I am here. I'm back. Wow, I'm still waiting for all this stuff to build, though. Um, I bought some. I don't know if they're showing up yet. Oh, they are showing up. Oh, thank you, Carl. Uh, yes, Sanderla. I was trying to. I'm not even sure if I did. Um, I'm gonna check that. Sydney, I got min 53 and so on. Uh, oh, nice. What did you end up with, Dub? Hold on, I'm checking. Um, I got before that, Sydney. I did get before that. They're not in order. I don't think they're in order. This one I'm trying to figure out. Hold on. Like, the numbers are all over the place. I I don't I didn't get number one. As far as I can tell, I didn't get number one. Would have been cool. Um, I I got number two. Yep, I got I got town hall number two. So that's cool. <laughs> so that means somebody bought number one before I did. That's crazy. I actually. I thought I bought this as fast as I could. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's interesting. As for how many I bought, um, I'm not going to reveal that at this time. But I will give away a couple pretty soon. As for how I'll do the giveaway, I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll see. Got number 58 so yeah you bought it quick also and then um i know some people want want wanted one so um once i can trade it in two weeks i'll uh sell it to them for the equivalent in um gala on gala chain or very similar to that uh, as close as i can what am I waiting on here? Lumber? I thought I had like 100 lumber. So I, I, I used it all. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier, Sydney, but yeah, you can't transfer it for 14 days if you purchase with a credit card.
Uh, I probably shouldn't get in. I shouldn't get rid of those trees. Okay, since I have a bunch of wood saved up, I will build the windmills. For a stub, he wanted me to buy one for him, and now he gotta wait 14 days for it. Yeah, yeah, no matter what, he's just gonna have to wait 14 days if he wants somebody to buy it for him. The Spider Dog, got 51. Is your beginner NFT recommendation still the same? You're probably referring to the video I made where I talked about 10 of the best NFTs. Yes, but I think that Stylin Ride is no longer a top 10 NFT. It's still very useful for Oak Barrel Rush, but anything to help you do Gold Rush seems like more useful in terms of a, of a way to make cash. Everything else in that list, I believe, is the same. Yeah, Wajir, that's fine. Uh, at this point, I I'm going to need to make an announcement and make a list, I, I think. Just in case too many people do ask me. Because I, I know some people ask me already. I, I know, I'm aware of who uh, is interested in one. Like, uh, I'll help people out with it, but probably just this time. Um, I, I don't think I'll buy any more after this. Like, at that point, the, just people are going to have to use their own credit card for that. I'm going to end up with too much money this time. Wait a minute, what's this pottery shop doing here? Did I actually place it there? That was an accident. Yeah, there's not supposed to be a pottery shop there. I don't know why there is. 
Yep, must have been a misclick. I'm gonna get rid of the gold rush and the ice rush too. Don't need all of that anymore. Is there such thing as a lucky number? All right. Does it say what boost gives to tree farm? Benji, uh, it's a 10% craft time reduction to tree farms. Oops. Wait, is it because I open up this? It is, yeah. I know what's causing that. Right. I don't need gas production either. I'll keep making energy with this though. I should have turned on the one, that one generative NFT. What was it? Hold on, let me just turn on my my effect cards while I'm at it. This one, the generation station, it lets me make energy faster with the power plant. I almost never use it. I could have just turned on this also for more wine bottles. Uh, glass bottles, sorry. Yeah, I didn't even turn on uh, guided blades. Gifted baker. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, for $10, it is good. Uh, I'm wondering if it's actually going to help me. My tree farms are already a 6 second craft time. Will the 10% reduce it to 5 seconds is what I'm wondering. If it does, then great. I'll, I'll implement the NFT in most competitions. If it doesn't then the NFT does not help me, but it will help many other people. JJ, I don't know if you're still watching, but did you happen to get the number one uh, town hall? Did he actually do it?
true, Benji. You know what, Benji? I have a epic water tower, right? Okay, I'm using it right now, but I'm planning to use the legendary one. I don't know why I placed it down. I'm not actually using the epic water tower this competition, as in, like, I don't need to. Because the two rivers help out a lot here. I, I will definitely use my legendary water tower, but I'm not going to use the epic water tower. Try to go place out my Christmas tree an hour 15 minutes late, better late than never. That sucks. <laughs> uh, hopefully you remember to place it down sooner next time. Uh, well, the the giant Christmas tree is something you want to place down right away. <laughs> but sure, better late than never. Did you just recently get it, Red Go? I mean, if you just recently got it, then eh, it makes sense that you forgot to use it. But it, it is uh, helpful. Very much so. Where's my dragon? I want to move it. I also want to move this. The effect cards? Okay, yeah. You're right about that. So many effect cards that could be helpful that I don't use. The... Uh, yeah, hopefully with the rental system for the guilds, I'm able to let some people use it. Now, I know there's going to be like a lot of people that want to rent out some of the NFTs I don't use, but it, these uh, the guild system, from my understanding, we're going to have to make separate groups. Because one guild is not going to support like 100 or so people. And right now, with the Common Ground World Dub Guild, at least, there's over 100 people. I still need lumber. Yeah, sure thing, Benji. Only because I know you meet the requirements. I already know you meet the requirements. I actually, I thought you were already in the guild. Maybe you're not, though. Ibuka, do you still have space in your guild? Even I sail under LWG, but Lycan is off. Uh, oh yeah, I, I understand that, Tibuka. Um, So right now, with the dub guild in Common Ground World, I have requirements to join it. That way we don't end up with half the people playing the game inside the same guild. Because that wouldn't make sense when you think about it. Um, 
I don't have a limit to to the amount of people that can join it, but there are requirements. Um, the what I'm looking for is either your top 225 in four different competitions, or top 400 in eight different competitions, or top 600 in 12 different competitions. That's what I have the requirement at right now. Oh, and you can't be in any other guild for common ground world. Like, I don't care if you're in a guild for Mirandus or the Eternal Paradox or whatever. But for common ground world, you cannot be in another guild, so you would have to leave it. J just to make that clear, in, in case anybody was wondering. Because I, I know, like, there's some people in gem guild for common ground world, and they also want to join dub, and it, it just can't work that way. <laughs> you just want to borrow the NFTs. All right, Benji. Sounds like Dubhem 2024. <laughs> Washer, I think I've only made top 600 like twice, so it's like time to go. Yeah, yeah. We got some people in there that don't meet the requirements, but that's because... um. Before I made the requirements, I asked if anybody wanted to join before I started putting out requirements. This was a couple months ago, actually. So yeah, at first there wasn't any requirements to join, but then I'm like... Yeah, we're gonna end up with almost everybody if I don't make some kind of requirements. And uh, it's a competitive game. Yeah, no problem, Tupuka. Do lumber i'm still waiting on lumber i kind of want to stock up on 100 lumber to build out everything else but i should be almost done oh my. what the tower Put down my silos. Two silos. I don't know if I need both of them, but I am using both. Redgo, what rate do you usually reach with the glass bottle rush? Whatever I think is going to make me enough money, Redgo. I don't have a specific rate. Because what am I making right now? It says I'm making a thousand per hour, which is that's like 15 mil cash per hour. Yeah, oh, 15 or 16 mil cash per hour. That's a lot of money. That's all I need to even make this build. So one hour got me all the money I needed. If I wanted to do a complete bottle rush, I could do, I think it was over 3,000 per hour. I forgot what it caps out at, but somewhere around 3,000 per hour or 2,900 per hour, something like that. But I almost never have to do the full bottle rush. Unless it's like a really expensive build like Sushi Boats. I think Sushi Boats is one of the most expensive. Because uh, you'll need multiple nukes. I can completely stop streaming and doing the competitions on. That's unfortunate. Uh, I believe his reason was... Yeah, the, the terms and conditions. He lives in Louisiana, and uh, if he follows the terms and conditions, right, they are not supposed to pay out prizes to Louisiana. I'm pretty sure they're not, like, doing any KYC and actually checking people. They're just posting 
what's the law pretty much following the law although are they really because they're still paying i'm pretty sure they're still paying you out even regardless of where you live i see it as a way for gala to potentially cover their behind legally <laughs> legally cover their butts Rusher! Bottle Rush is the top cash rush currently. Well, Bottle Rush requires a lot of expensive NFTs, first of all. As for is it the top? It's one of the best cash rushes with NFTs. I don't know if it's the top. Sushi Boats is number one. I'm not a big fan of Sushi Boats. Mostly because I just don't have a lot of fishing NFTs. That's probably, yeah, that's probably why. I can start getting rid of this. Yeah, I can get rid of all this. I don't know why I haven't. What's special about Louisiana? I'm not sure. That's something to do with the law. Paying out prizes or something. Can't say I know for sure. I mean, does anybody know the, the exact reason? I'm sure somebody did some kind of research on it. Uh... Planet Bob. No. Uh, no, Planet Bob. They said it, it won't be in the game until Friday. I was just making sure. I think Farmer Michelle said it doesn't make sense for them to update the game mid competition, which is something they've done before, but they try not to do. And I think she's right. We don't want updates mid-competition. Unless it's something that's game-breaking. It needs to be fixed right away. Homeboy, hello! I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, target rates, uh, at least 105 per hour. Best case scenario, 110 per hour. I'm making one adjustment. My practice run was doing 108. That one adjustment is an extra tavern. Oh, brewery. Yeah, brewery. Not tavern. I have all the money I need to finish the build. I think I just need lumber for a couple more pottery shops. These are all going to be making yeast, so I'll turn them on. What happened to my solar panel? Oh, I removed it. No, it's right here. I thought I removed it. I'll explain what's going on here later once I'm done with it.
Rachel, how many apple trees do I have? Or how many will I have in my build? Uh, Rachel should be 47. One of them will have one shade. Right, the tavern will go here since it doesn't need a road. It doesn't need to be next to anything. Everything will move 20% faster. Uh, I'm in charge station. Let me stop making energy. Yeah, I'll get rid of all this. I, I don't need this stuff anymore. Okay, so the rare solar panel is going to be here. Diamond charge station will double the energy it gives, so it's going to give up to four passive energy. All the pottery shops here will have the passive energy that they need from the solar panel. There's going to be aquifers, which are... They have their water germ radius doubled because I'm going to have the diamond water pump placed. Not here, but somewhere. So those aquifers are giving the passive water drums to the pottery shops, which will make ceramic bowls. And I'm going to have passive clay from Haunted Maze Zone 2 right here. That passive clay effect gets doubled once I place down all of the other zones, which I'll place down Zone 4 and Zone 3 right here, which don't really help me. That's why they're in the corner. And then I'll have Zone 1, which gives me 3 passive nectar, but it doubles to 6 passive nectar since I now have all the zones placed and that's going to be for the beehives making honey which will be around this general area next to the pottery shops they're not being ne negatively impacted by any dirty or anything that's why they're there and they're going to be the separator between these buildings and my trees so now I'll have the passive energy, water drums, and clay needed for the ceramic bolts. And I'll go ahead and turn these on. Actually, I didn't need to build one of these. I have an NFT one that I can put here. Okay, those don't have the water drums yet. That's because I need to put down an offer right here. Apple Pay? No, I, I've not tried Apple Pay, Rachel. I just use a credit card. I've tried Google Pay before in the past. It, it's worked just fine. Gonna be a big warehouse here. That is where all of these ceramic bowls should go to. There's gonna be a storehouse here where all the flour and yeast goes to and some other items. My two sawmills will be right here. They'll have passive water drums from this aquifer and they'll have passive energy from this solar panel. It's going to give three to this one and two to this one. I'm going to move this somewhere else in a moment.
I'm gonna build a lumber yard. I normally don't even use a lumber yard because I have lumber storage. But I need to this time because the lumber yard casts one shade and the lumber storage casts two shade. And I can only have one shade here without impacting my trees. So I do need to use the lumber yard this time. I have a big pantry, so I don't have to build the regular one. Although it wouldn't matter in this case because I'm only making honey. I don't need to auto sell honey. I'm placing down a couple beekeepers. That's going to be for the honey production. going on there my tractor stuck my uh tractors like Kind of just chilling next to the apple trees, waiting for them to grow, I guess. Okay, so time for this corner. Let me move this and this. So rather than putting all my pottery shops together, I'm actually separating them. So there's going to be four more pottery shops over here. I'm going to use my NFTs for these. These four are going to be the ones making these ceramic mugs. I have my diamond charge station giving them the two passive energy that they need, and the diamond water pump gives them the one passive water drum that they need. I have another Haunted Maze Zone 2 that I'm using that will give another up to four passive clay. So it gives them the three passive clay that they need in order to make the mugs. The only other thing I need to place down is the Chromium stand. I'll place down a Chromium stand here and there we go. Passive ceramic mugs. I also got the chromium for the bottles. I'll place down my silica stand right here. That gives me the passive silica for these. And then the limestone stand for passive limestone. And now I have passive bottles. Let me go ahead and turn these on. So some of these will be making apple cider. I want them facing the silo since that's where they do the most trips. And then these other ones are going to make the mead. also facing the south section. Uh, I can't remember what way I had this warehouse facing. I think I had it facing that way. The storehouse was facing the windmills. The bakeries were facing north. These two are also going to be windmills. Just turn these on. Missing two beehives. Well, I actually don't know if I need this many beehives, but that's what I had. Uh, 
Uh, Patrick, the pottery shop making mug, is it affected by dirt? Very good question, Patrick. One thing I didn't mention there. These pottery shops are the rare pottery shops. They are NFT versions. The NFT rare pottery shop is not negatively impacted by anything, which allows me to have it right next to the glass factory, which is very convenient. If these were regular pottery shops, they would be slowed down significantly. So it's very important that these three right here are the NFT versions. But that's a good point. See, a lot, a lot of NFTs put together to make this work. <laughs> so I'm waiting on some windmills to get built. I, I'm trying to think if I need more lumber. I don't think I do, but I'm going to make a bit more just in case I do. Well, I mean, I'm going to need it for the honey, but I'm not making honey yet. Also, I got way too much energy. I'm just going to stop with the energy. Get rid of that and that. And I'm going to reset my production monitor. I'll reset it again once I start making what I'm supposed to be making. Alright, this stuff is also supposed to be apple trees, it's just that um, I'll get rid of it once I'm done building everything. What is this supposed to be? Oh, a beekeeper. Yeah, it kind of looks like everything's done building. Okay, next thing. So for sugar production, I'm going to use three sugarcane sands out of the five I have. Uh, I guess two of them I'm not using. And the windmills here that have the three passive sugarcane are going to be making sugar. That'll get me all the sugar that I need. They should be taking that sugar to this storehouse. Oh yeah, the glass factories take the bottles here. This is just an extra storehouse for apple cider. Or mead. And I should set up my flower production. Well, I'll turn all these windmills on. These are all going to make flour. I'm going to have the legendary wheat stand placed, and that's going to give me the passive leaf in order to make this flower. And if I'm comparing it to the build I made last week, this one should have more windmills making flower. Because that is one of the things that set me back on the last competition and I did not feel like redoing my entire design. Which is fine, I, I still got top 50 and I'm very happy with that. Oh, we got the payout for that yesterday, huh? That's right. Yeah, that was nice to see. Okay, they're all turned on. 
place the legendary weed stand, wait for some lag. And uh, they'll get started soon because my loggers are busy. Am I actually using the lumber on something? I shouldn't be. I don't think I'm making anything with it. Yeah, everything should be built. Okay, maybe there's something I'm missing here somewhere, but everything here should be built. So I get rid of the lumber storage, get rid of the wood storage. I do need to make another beekeeper right there. Oh, I'm going to turn off my legendary guided blades. Very useful to have. I would suggest most of you have it turned on, right? For this build, I don't actually use it because I'm using two of these to balance out my lumber rate better. I tried using this and only one of these mills, but it wouldn't give me enough lumber. If I use this and two of the mills, it gives me too much lumber. So I'm using two of them while having this turned off. It comes as close as I can to the amount of lumber that I actually need. I, I still end up overproducing lumber. And I'm going to temporarily turn one off so I can get wood to build that beekeeper house. Energy, I don't think I need any more energy, assuming everything is built. Double checking everything. I haven't turned on these. I'll turn it on soon. Yeah, I don't think I need any more energy. Double check. I think it's all good. So I guess I'll turn this on. These are facing south, I think, and I want them facing north. Yeah, so I'm going to rotate them twice so that they're facing north. That way the beekeepers have an easier time actually entering the beehives. So they should all be facing north now. So they'll be making honey. They have the passive nectar that they need. I'm also going to overproduce honey just because I'm overproducing uh, lumber. Okay, I guess let me turn off both of these because I'm not making I'm not getting the extra wood that I should be getting. There we go. Name my town while I'm at it. Turn these back on. I think I'm good. Let me replace these and see if I have everything.
Guess I can place down Oopsie and my trophy. Just cause. Dub trophy. Alright. Yeah, I think that's everything. So this is the only apple tree affected by shade right here, just because I wanted the extra beekeeper house. The dragon, supreme storehouse, diamond warehouse, and hatchet hank do not cast shade. That's why I have them right next to the apple trees. Most of these apple trees have, well, yeah, they all have at least six water to grow. I'm gonna reset the production monitor. It'll take a while before it gives me an accurate rate. I, I think everything's turned on though. So an hour and 55 minutes in. It took me about the same time to finish this build as the one from last week. Even though this time I got more money. I, I kind of overdid it on the bottle rush. I left it running a little longer than I should have. But uh, it's fine either way. So now we wait. I'm going to check Discord because I have a couple messages I didn't check. Oh, also I was going to get on Champions Arena. But for some reason it says there was maintenance and it didn't let me do uh, battles. Yeah, it still says the same thing. I'll try it again in a minute. No, it still doesn't let me do battles in Champions Arena. Is anybody having the same issue? Server maintenance starts soon. Cannot use this feature until maintenance is over. Maybe I did too many battles. Yeah, I don't know why it says that, really. I'm looking forward to the new changes they're making to Champions Arena, also. So, Tweets, this time it's so much worse. No cash boost and nuke to build. You got a point, yeah. Yeah, so for most people, it'll take longer. Sydney, someone in our common ground world chat got the number one of the NFT dub. Nice. I missed that. Let me check. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Congrats, it's worth double to JJ. <laughs> he beat me to it then. Yeah, because I got number two. Quick. Quick buy. I will probably keep number two for myself.
Sydney, does D2B still have spots? I'm uh, I'm assuming probably not. Right. Not that I think uh, probably might have two or three since we hit 50 unless someone is in the reserve spot a lot. All right. I, I I personally don't like reserving more than 40 slots either because, um, well, you got to wait for the, the guild research to be completed to expand the, the guild size. And sure, we it, that could be completed in a matter of like the first three days, but still. AKC, uh... It's three tractors. I'm I am using three tractors. I have one in the corner over here and two right here. I probably could get by with two tractors. I um hopefully my uh tractors aren't getting stuck or anything. I also I need to set up auto sell in a bit. Soon, soon enough. 140 apples. That doesn't sound right. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully my uh, tractors aren't like stuck or anything. Mm, let's see how it works. I don't want to check the production monitors just yet. It's going to be so wrong. Ah, okay, Sydney. Cool. Okay, season three of Eternal Paradox starts in five hours. Who's ready for that? I like the new updates coming out too, um, with the the guild bosses. Not exactly sure how it's gonna work. I I, I can only speculate, but I, I'm not gonna spend too much time speculating since it's just gonna come out today, anyways. But it sounds like fun, like we'll have to get our guild members together to be online at a specific time and work together to take down these bosses soon enough. 
We'll probably lose a lot of troops doing those bosses, I would imagine. Like, multiple hits are going to be required. That's what I'm thinking, anyways. Amir going to sleep the start. Oh, you mean the start of the uh, new season? I know, for some people, it's uh, horrible timing. Tatiana, it's so exhausting to play Eternal Paradox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it can be. Some people play it hardcore, and if you play it hardcore, it can be exhausting, yeah. If you play it casually, it's not bad, but it's hard to compete in those games if you're just a casual player. They should give it a few days rest before we restart. I, hey, at least they give it one day's rest. Originally, I didn't think they were even going to give us one day rest. But uh, it seems like they do for the update. Not casual. Yeah. Watcher, I sometimes can't even play Eternal Paradox. The game only loads up one tenth of the times for me. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, it shouldn't be happening. Whenever I play it on blue stacks, it... It takes a while to load up, like sometimes it doesn't load up right away, but eventually it does. But whenever I play it on my phone, it I never have any issues. Yeah, it drains the phone though. <laughs> I see what Ymir's saying. So Neo, you can call yourself casual like us in D2B, but we are more than casual. Yeah. One day, six weeks of madness. Yep. Get one day's rest. It's six weeks of madness if you want it to be. Seven weeks, I guess. to catch them all. <laughs> uh, it's possible I have a stuck windmill. Um, if you could point it out, Planet Bob, uh, go ahead. Otherwise, I can just try... Backing out of the game and going back in. My production rate doesn't really make sense right now, honestly. So maybe a couple of my windmills are stuck or something. Oh, I'm losing production also. Uh, I should set up auto cell. Yeah. Fourth row middle. All right. So let me set up some of this. Actually, bottles is already here. Sugar. Bowls. East. I'm making mead. That's good. So mead. Um, I should not be overproducing wood. If I'm overproducing wood, it definitely has to be because one of my windmills are stuck. You mean this one? Or throw middle? That might, well, that one looks like it is stuck, huh? That one looks like it's stuck too. You know what? Let's uh back out. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have that much wood. It is kind of strange. Let me go ahead and clear that out. My trackers, I'm pretty sure my trackers are stuck too. So 
something did seem off about that. Oh look, all my apple trees grew. Isn't that something? Oh, where did all those apples come from? And that honey? Wow, that just kind of appeared out of nowhere, huh? It might have been a visual glitch, Planet Bob. It should be working now. I mean, now we'll do a proper test. Oh, for sure, Sydney. Let's hope so. Was it going for wood here? Huh. Also, all of these should be facing south. I don't know if I accidentally made them face north or if I just never rotated them. These should all be facing south. As far as I can tell, they should all be turned on. Okay, well this one's not turned on. Yeah. Uh, that's probably the one you were talking about, Planet Bob. So, thank you. You, you said south of a logger. I, I thought you meant these loggers. No, you're right. Yeah, it was that one. Thank you. And now I'm checking them all again. But now, I don't need to auto sell apples or honey. I will sell mugs. I'm about to sell my first batch of mead. I shouldn't be selling apple cider. If I am, then something's wrong. I also shouldn't be auto selling flour, but just in case, you know, you can never be too careful. Okay, so I sold a batch of mead. So I will check where I'm at in the leaderboard right after that. And I think it'll take a minute for the leaderboard to update.
Okay, it looks more normal now. It looks more like how it should. Okay, leaderboard. Leaderboard time. Rank 18. Alright, top 25 just from the first batch. I am the 18th person to sell a batch with 25 mead. The usual top 3, as far as I can remember. Oh, Planet Bob and Guillermo are ahead of me. Alright. Iron Knight also. Yep. So far seems good. I mean, I'll keep running it for a couple more minutes. Maybe sell one or two more batches and that should be it. Like, just so I'm sure that it works. No, it looks different now with the speed boost. They're gonna have one trillion points. It's not. It's not gonna be that big of a difference. For those of you who trade stuff peer-to-peer, -peer, whether that's NFTs or crypto, always be careful. If you can, use a middleman or use a service like NFT Harbor as it's safer, even if you gotta pay fees. Better to be safe than to, you know, get screwed over. I do help people middleman. I do that, you know, usually to help as much people as I can. I don't charge fees as long as I'm not having to pay a gas fee. If I had to pay a gas fee, I will charge you for that gas fee. Um, and I'm able to help people as long as I'm available. So, like, once Eternal Paradox Season 3 starts up, I'm not going to be available for the rest of the night. I'm not going to be available tomorrow, but probably Thursday. So, yeah, if you send me, I mean, feel free to send me a message if you need help with a transaction with somebody else i'll do my best to help you but if i'm busy at the moment i'm just not gonna do that for you there are a couple people tr who are trustworthy in a community i mean if it's eternal paradox related uh, i vouch for burgundy touch you can also trust him although there are impersonators out there also so please be careful if somebody messages you claiming to be someone else you know, make sure you're always talking to the right person. Yeah, be careful with impersonators. Yeah, no problem, Washer. Oh, if I don't reply, yeah, either I'm busy or asleep or one of those things. And sometimes I forget to reply to people's messages because I see the message and I'm just like working on something and then I forget to, to actually go back and look at the message. That happens sometimes.
And uh, if you ask me about the requirements to join Dub and Eternal Paradox, I'm going to point you to the announcement I made on my Discord because it pretty much all the information is there. Hold on. Oh. You mentally respond? <laughs> what do you mean to Tweez? Oh, that's what you mean to tweet. I see a message in my mind to respond, but didn't text, so I forgot. Yeah, it happens to me sometimes. Sometimes. So tell me what you all suggest of these two ideas. If I were to give away some of the common ground town hall NFTs, should I just do a giveaway anyone can participate in and it'll have a couple winners, like the ones I do on Discord? Or should I do like the no NFT competition setup that I had for the... Which one was it? The one that we just had, Apple Cider? And I'll, of the people who submitted an, a no NFT design, I'll have a couple of prizes for the common ground town hall. Should I do it that way? So like either, either it's a giveaway everyone can enter, just got to click a button, or it's a giveaway where people actually have to submit a no NFT design, and there will be several prizes to give away from that. And maybe like one major price for the one that I decide to showcase or build. I'm just not sure if I would do that this week or the next week. I think they said that this upcoming week it's going to be a jewelry meta that is not new. Originally, Farmer Michelle said it was new and now it says it's not new. But the one after that one should be new. That makes sense. Don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. Oh, maybe chains. They leaked a uh, chain meta a long time ago, but it, it got delayed. It never happened. I think it was silver chains and gold chains. If it's silver chains, I know a lot of people are going to be happy. Most notably, the people with the Artisan Guild and Sylvester.
Yeah, if I do it the way where I make a no NFT competition again to tweets to give away a couple of those town halls, uh, not everybody will participate in that prize. I could do both. Yeah, some where um, anyone can enter and some where it's a prize in that competition. I could do half and half. You think there will be more entries? Benji, and two more competitions after will be Anything Goes. Is that confirmed, Benji? I hope not. I'm not a big fan of Anything Goes. I'd rather they just have the community votes on the meta for us to... Yeah, that uh, meta that gets voted on. Even if it's milk or energy, that's fine. I can work with those. Milk meta. Yeah, milk, milk meta sounds really nice right now. I could use these. Let's see what it's looking like. Oh, you do like anything, goes herbs. But it's really. Most of the time, it's just one item that wins it all. Most of the time. Not always. Because I think last time, uh, we... We proved that ice blocks was a very, very good thing to make. You, even if it was a pretty annoying build to make, it, it got people that don't have very many NFTs, it got them top 225. They put in a lot of effort, I'm sure, but they managed to do it. 120 apple cider, that's quite a lot actually, more than I was expecting. I only make 110 mugs anyways. I actually have a lot of mugs though, what's up with that? Mead is at 110, alright, that's great. Yeah, the sugar will overproduce. That's enough yeast for 115. Honey will overproduce. It's enough honey for 120 mead. E, that's enough bottles. That's enough apples for somewhere between 110 and 115, depending on how the apple trees feel like. The uh, apple cider rate doesn't actually make sense. I don't believe it's actually 120. I think it's just that I had some already being made by the time I refreshed it. So yeah, by the looks of it, it'll come close to 110 mead, which is what it should be doing. It's working as expected. That's great. Already sold my second batch. Puts me right next to the planet Bob in the leaderboard. Things are looking good for top 50. Benji, I like because no need to practice. Oh, okay, you just used the same design from last time, right? <laughs> I guess. It feels repetitive, though. I mean, the biome will change. So you probably will have to practice something. Amir, we can go for an energy meta as usually a month before Mayhem. They have do it last year, I think. Yeah, I don't remember when the last energy meta was, but I do remember that there was one. Same thing with milk. Energy meta is who can build the most nukes uh, faster than anyone else. So who has the best cash rush?
See money, what's up? Yeah, I just finished my build like half an hour ago. I'm letting it run to make sure it works. It's working very well. Uh, Benji says biome doesn't matter much for sushi, all NFTs. You're right. Yeah, with all the NFTs, it makes sense. Have it set up with any biome. Yeah, see money. Yeah, I'm just making sure it works. I'll, I'll probably stop streaming in a couple minutes. I'm, um... Yeah, because I'm a... I'm pro the plan is I'm going to stream again in like four and a half hours from now to play Eternal Paradox. I, I don't expect to stream that all night, just at least for maybe a couple hours. To see how it goes at the start of the new season. I also have to communicate with my guild. So I'll be paying attention to my uh, guild chat on Discord as well. But yeah, feel free to ask any Eternal Paradox questions you may have. Or anything that I, I do on stream, right? On While I'm playing Eternal Paradox. Where you been, C-Money? <laughs> yeah, but thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by, too. Oh yeah, JJ, I got number two. All right, I need to start making a list of the people who actually want a town hall. Because I don't want to, like, promise more people than I can actually have uh, town halls to distribute. Uh, see money, got a job now that changed my schedule, can't even compete anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel that. It, Benji, it feels so nice not having to build a nuke for some of these. The freaking diamond charge station and rear solar panel combo is insane. I really wanted a legendary solar panel at one point, but they are so expensive. 
Like I knew somebody that was selling one, but I'm like, nah, I, I, I can't get that. And do I really need it? Eh, I don't know. So, well, so much passive energy. See, the legendary solar panel gives you up to four passive energy, but the diamond charge station doubles it to up to eight passive energy, like the nuclear power. Same thing. Just, uh, it's a portable nuclear power. Pretty much. Too expensive, but I think I'll get one. Oh, you think so, Benji? I want to double check the price. I'm not going to check NFT Harbor, but I do want to check OpenSea. Solar panels. Well, the last one sold for like five thousand dollars, maybe more, maybe six thousand to somebody that's actually watching this stream right now. <laughs> Yeah, but the one before that sold for about 4000 which is probably a good deal. It sounds like a lot of money, but for passive energy, that thing's insane. The highest offer on a legendary solar panel is $2,900. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, that makes sense, Benji, but, uh, no thanks. I'll keep that in mind, Benji, but, I mean, it, it's probably not gonna happen. Oh, I haven't sold the third, third batch yet. Okay. Doing another check. Yeah, I'll probably, um, Stop streaming just a few minutes after this so happens. Martin's making slow bottles, gold flower, tomorrow total bill. Awesome. Um, I don't know about the flower, Martin. I mean, it's not even cash boosted. It was going to be cash boosted. And then I guess they realized that it wasn't whenever they pushed out the update. And they're like, oh, never mind. I guess this flower's not cash boosted. 
<laughs> like they weren't gonna go back and fix it. So, I mean, you're making flour because you got the wheat stand, right? And you built the windmills. Makes sense, I suppose. But as long as you can keep up with all the trades. Probably built a freight pier or something. Uh, Martin, no, but each good bit of money is money. Good point. Yeah. I mean, if it was me, I'd probably just make the whole build for gold. Full gold rush. But can't complain. I mean, money. What's best to grow? Says Alex. Best to grow what? You mean for cash in the game? I'm wondering what's holding me back. Like, I I'm happy that I'm making 110 or 113 per hour even. What is holding me back? Because I got ceramic mugs. I got apple cider. I got enough honey to make, well, like 119 per hour. I have enough yeast to make like 118 per hour even. So I feel like I could be making even a little bit more mead, maybe five more at most. I really I'm already happy. It's it's over 110. I was trying to aim for 110, like just 110. Um, maybe if I built another brewery, I could push a higher rate. I'm not going to do that, but like I, I was just wondering because like I see I thought ceramic mugs was gonna be what's stopping me because it's only 111. But for some reason, I still have ceramic mugs. I might slowly be catching up and using them all. Because I don't think I've auto-sold any. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it. I think eventually I will use up all those mugs. And it'll go back down to 110 or something. Alex, the meta for the competition changes every week. So for this competition, the meta is to sell mead. And here's the requirements for that. I have a build that I posted uh, yesterday to give you details on how to craft mead, give you an idea on how to create a competitive design, and uh, go over the details for the competition. So mead is what you want to make and sell for points. For cash, there's nothing that's cash boosted. Whenever that's the case, I just recommend people sell gold. Gold is a very way to make very good way to make the cash you need to build everything that you need to make. Cuz really you would want to practice the weekend before the competition starts so that you have a design ready for the competition. And like you have an idea of how everything works as well. I do explain it on the the build showcase videos that I share how to how everything works together. TS builds. I am doing gold rush with more than twenty two hundred gold per hour. Very nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't don't like force yourself, Martin, and uh, <laughs> hurt yourself trying to play this game. Maybe some people do that. I mean, it depends how much money is on the line for them. Benji is only 33 minutes. Might increase. Yes. Yeah, it might. Uh, yeah, I'm good with this, though. Third batch sold. Still about the same rank. All right. It's a good lead. Okay, that's going to be it. Um, you guys are on later. Feel free to s tune in for my Eternal Paradox stream. Should be in about four hours. I'll probably start that just a few minutes before the server is supposed to open up. But yeah, for now, I'm going to get something to eat, take a break, and uh, yeah, I'll be back later. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. As always, I appreciate your support, and see you later.